Today is all about the heart chakra. So I'm using the chakra cards from the yin deck as my intention cards. So today it is the words love, acceptance, compassion and kindness. These are the energies that we're working with today. And our sentence is, I allow my love to guide me and fill me up. So this is going to be a sequence about love. <laughs> let's do it that. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into the heart chakra sequence. Okay. So I'm going to place my intention card over here and then I'm going to ask you to come into child's pose. So you can widen your knees a little bit, give yourself some space and just close your eyes and take a moment here to deepen your breath. Maybe do a little stretch, pulling the right hand on over to the left one, giving yourself a nice little stretch in the spine, and then the left over to the right, or the opposite, whatever is speaking to you today. Now we're going to inhale and come moving through a slow movement, tucking your toes and then we're going to push slowly up to downward facing dog, letting our tailbone lead us slowly upwards. See how my upper body is connected to my thighs. Maybe I want to hang out here for a while. Maybe you want to try and release those legs. Maybe do a little walking. Maybe bend a bit. Just feel your way through it. And then we're going to start to gonna push back into child's pose. Exhaling here. And then moving right along, tucking the toes. And using the tailbone as a guide, pushing up and then rolling into the plank. Maybe adjust your hands a little bit and then come in with Chaturanga all the way down to lying on the mat and then push back to a child's pose. See if you want to move a little bit. Release your shoulders, give your body the freedom to release whatever needs. Then we're going to pull back up, coming into downward. And this time we're going to move through a sun salutation A or a vinyasa, if you will. So we're going to move the same way over. to upward facing dog or a cobra and then exhale downward facing dog now inhale release your right leg and then exhale pulling the knee to nose and placing 
slowly. We're gonna inhale to come all the way up to high lunge and then exhale, release to a low lunge. your palms down framing your foot we're gonna tuck the back toe and we're gonna move in to a side plank opening up to the right side so shifting the leg back placing it on top of the other and then opening up Now we're going to let the foot slide back and we're going to open up into a wild thing. And now to come back and exhale. Child's pose. Now, if wild thing is not in your practice, please just remain in your side plank and move through a plank and back into child's pose. Now we're going to come up to a downward facing dog, doing the other side. And placing the foot gently in between the palms of our hands. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale. Release down to a low lunge. We have company here. <laughs> and frame your foot. Tuck your back toe. And then open up into a side plank. See balance for everyone. <laughs> and two. And three. Now I'm going to go through wild thing. If it's not in your practice, please stay where you are. Release here. Pulling your chest up. Releasing the heart. And then exhale come back into a plank and releasing down to a child's pose. We're gonna take a moment here to stabilize our breath. Tucking the toes and exhale out to a downward facing dog. We're gonna roll through, coming into our plank again, maybe adjusting those hands. Exhaling, coming all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes, bend your knees, and then come to a seated position. We're gonna release the legs in front of us. You can take your palms to help guide you all the way down to lying on the mat. Mm. We're gonna do bridge. We're gonna hold for eight breaths. We're gonna do two bridges and then one full wheel. If the full wheel is not in your practice, then you do a third.
coming up keeping the legs parallel having the energy flowing out through our legs grounding through the feet and the shoulders exhale all the way down and inhale come back up and eight exhale come all the way down now if it's in your practice you can go for a full wheel inhale to come all the way up Slowly back down. And then take a moment to take a hold of your knees. And give yourself a nice hug. We're going to do some rolling, rolling the back, back and forth, and we're going to roll through one last vinyasa before we do our spine twist, so exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come all the way down. And we're going to release. Towards the chest and then taking a hold of the knee with the left hand guiding it over. And giving the spine a nice twist. Remember to be gentle here and don't push, but rather aim to have both shoulders on the mat. Inhale to come up and exhale to release. Inhale, left leg, knee, take a hold of the knee, pressing it towards the chest and slowly taking a hold of the knee with the right hand and guiding it over to the right side, opening your left shoulder and gazing over the left shoulder. Inhale to come up and exhale, release into Shavasana. Now let your breath completely go. 
Let it come back to its natural rhythm. Observe it. Think about our intention. Now for those who want But we, for the purpose of the video, are going to move into a closing. So, for those who want to join, then slowly come on to your side, whichever side speaks to you. And then help yourself up to a seated position using your upper arm. We're going to bring our palms together. And this sequence made especially to help cultivate energy in the heart chakra. Have a fantastic day.